Welcome to Pactium 10. When in a position of parental responsibility, the parent should strive to help the child grow into a fully realized sentient image bearer and oppose the desire to imprint their own personality on their child. Many of us which achieved or arrived at adulthood with unfulfilled dreams. And you, you, you can fill in those blanks yourself. Maybe you thought you were going to be a professional athlete, professional musician, ballerina, author, manager of the sunglass hut. Somebody has to be the manager of the sunglasses hut. And you had a choice to kind of prayerfully set those things aside, and maybe God brings them back and maybe he doesn't, or give in to your desire to push those things on your child. This is called living vicariously through your children. That is, and you, you see then, you know, the dad who is clearly in love with football and his son who either isn't in love with football or just wants to make his dad happy, and he's pushing his son toward what he wanted to be. Or this mom is pushing her daughter toward what she wanted to make, be. Um, one of my friends is a male who was raised by beauty pageant people, and he's now a grown man my age with eating disorders, who's got pageant speak in his head. Because, you know, every child of this person, had, every grandchild of this person had to follow in the footsteps. It's not God's way. So, that is witchcraft because it's control, right? We all know, if, if, if we're accepting the word of God connects witchcraft and control, then I'm going to decide what you're doing for a living. I'm going to punish you when you don't do it and reward you when you do do it. That's witchcraft, right? We don't need to debate whether or not that's true. That's obvious and straightforward, you know? And if you select your kid's occupation for them, and that's either their own choice or sometimes a divine calling, you are stepping into God's place again, right? Which is hubris. Some conflict that is had between children and adult children of parents has to do with parents that have no discernment for I'm disciplining the things that are really sin versus I'm disciplining the things that I would never have done. This person is not the good person I'd like them to be because they don't operate the way I operate. And I spent your whole childhood trying to make you into me, trying to work off those edges that seem offensive to me, even though I can't find biblical reasons to do so. Somehow, your frustration with your child should lead you to prayer, should lead you to the word, should lead you to wise counsel, where you say God has a purpose for this child. That starts at, they're going to be a fully realized sentient image bearer with free thinking. I mean that in the spiritual sense, not political. Free emotion, unobstructed by our expectations. Free volition, unexpected by other people's attempts to change our will into things. And they're going to pursue something that's uniquely for them in their relationship with God, in their personality development, and in whatever professional or lay ministry God puts them into. Because all believers are called to ministry, paid or otherwise. Okay? All of us have a gift, and using that gift is called ministry. Right? And so, it should be, God, I'm having a hard time with my kid. They keep wanting to do this thing I don't understand. I'm looking in your word. It doesn't expressly say it's sin. It annoys the heck out of me. Help me to see what you're doing here, help me to encourage, or at least back off of this trait that I don't understand. So that I don't fall into the sins of witchcraft or hubris just because I'm frustrated with my child. Just because I, and every human being, has a giant ego on the subject of our own goodness. Every human being has a giant ego on the subject of our own goodness. Think about that very carefully. You think you're good. You think there's things about you that are good. And especially, you think that your sins are much more understandable than that other person's sins. And that causes you to be vengeful and religious and pharisaical. Stop me when I get too close. Okay. That is your responsibility as a parent. 
to help guide them toward who God is making them into without getting too many of our own fingerprints on it, okay? Don't make the valuables dirty with your own fingerprints. Your children are gifts from God that are unprocessed diamonds, okay? Unprocessed diamonds don't get any prettier with your dirty hands on them, okay? We need to encourage them toward who God made them to be and away from sin and into the Word and all those things. But you placing your fear of change on them, you placing your spirit of religion on them, you placing your misplaced ideas about race on them, is only going to be an obstruction that's going to take time off of their years being a sentient image bearer. Thank you for listening. I'm going to put away my soapbox. box. Please, if I have encouraged you, blessed you, or equipped you in any fashion, please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, pray more and complain less.